Well, hello, YouTube friends. How you doing today? This is Trenton coming back at you again from the shop. Today, I have a special treat for you. We are going to put on some graphics on the side of the 18-foot Mayak. If you look, right here, I already have the line laid out. I've got it plastic to cover up so it don't get no overspray on the bottom of the boat, which we've already worked. And we're going to put a three-quarter inch red metallic line right down the center of the side of the freeboard of the boat. Now, I have black overspray already from when we did the bottom of the boat here. It just bled over a little bit. So that's what I'm going to use for my base. And it's fine. I've already sanded it. And it looks good. It's good and hard. Now what we're gonna do is, is we're going to use this color here. It's called Ruby Red. Some of you may be familiar with it with the, I don't know if you can see it that well or not, but anyway, pretty sparkly red. It is a 0 0.15 size, which is a pretty good size for flaking. All right, so stand by. I'll show you how I laid out my stripe. And let's mix up some glitter and let's spray it. Follow the top of that blue line with the paper, with the tape. And the next thing we'll do is come back here and we're gonna take off our blue tape. Okay, we'll pull him just like this. Keep going. You don't have to use this blue painter's tape for this part. That's all I had. You can use the cheaper tape. It's probably the best to do. Instead of just using the blue like I did, that's all I had. So what we're doing, by pulling all this off, is we're exposing the line. that we're going to uh, flake. So basically, we just laid out our graphics, what we did. And uh, we'll come back and shoot the uh, red retire. What to be our metallic line. And it's gonna look good. So make sure your tape's straight. And uh, right up here in the front, we'll make a little cover for that make it look right make sure it's not wavy all looks good we'll check all our tape lines again in the next video uh we'll start shooting the uh, metallic on thanks guys so i got about a third of a quart of neutral gel coat mix i have not activated it yet and i put in right at 30 cc's of the glitter in we'll see how it looks first we'll mix it up We'll see how our blend looks real quick. Let me add more, it just depends. Yeah, we're gonna have to add more. We'll probably go with 100 cc's of glitter. Let's add a little bit more to it here to see how it looks. This is gonna put us right at 60. Oh, there goes the air compressor. I apologize about that. Yeah, looks like uh, probably 60, 70 cc's. Oh yeah, that looks real good, guys. That's what we're looking for. All right, I'm gonna get the camera set up and uh, we're gonna spray this glitter. All 
All right, here we go. So now that the uh, gel has started to kick, I went ahead and pulled off the uh, first layer of plastic. I know it looks a little color deviation. It's just because some of the, the neutral hasn't uh, turned clear yet. It's getting there. It's hardening. And man, it looks really good. I can't complain. I'm going to leave the bottom plastic on because I've already done all that work to the bottom. And I'm going to wet sand the, the red line. And then we'll spray another coat of clear on top of it just to seal it off, make it nice and smooth, and we'll buff it out. But other than that, guys, that's all there is to it. Job turned out real well. Nice, pretty work. Thanks for watching.